Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you how I did this eye look and most of my base. It's kind of washed out right now, but uh, let me see if I can dim the lights. Can you see it now? Like a little bit better? Let me see. Can you see it better now? Nope, that does not help at all. There it is. You can kind of see it a little bit better now. Um, but yeah, so this is the look that we did today. And for the palette we're using, we're using the e.l.f. New Classics one. Um, this is going to be another part of my palette series video series. The reason why I'm doing this video with this particular look and this palette is because I really, really want... Okay, backstory time. Alter Ego just came out with the Blooms palette and the Canyon palette. And those are dupes for the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette and the Love Palette. And I want them, right? But in my personal opinion, from past experience using Alter Ego's formula, Alter Ego, the pigmentation, like, it's there, but it fades really fast, very quickly, and it's very difficult for me to build up. Um, so I was thinking about buying the Natasha Denona Palette, so those are like $67 a piece. Especially since I know I'm going to want, like, little cheek palette thingies. And this palette is, like, a dupe for the Glam palette, kind of, for the most part. So, I was trying to, like, talk myself out of buying the Natasha Denona palettes when I already have this palette. Plus, I have palettes I haven't even used yet in my collection, and I need to use them. Um, but anyway, that's, that's the backstory. This is going to be in a palette series. This is the palette we're using. This is the Elf New Classics palette. And with that being said, please keep in mind, I'm not a makeup artist in any way, shape, or form. I have never, ever, 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 ever claimed to be. Um, I'm also slightly colorblind. And with that being said, if you guys enjoy these videos, please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I would very much greatly appreciate it. And let's get started. Alright, so I already did one eye off camera. This is kind of the look that we're going for. So I'm going to prime my other eye really quick. Sorry, I have like a drawer open right here with everything in it that I need. Because the palette that we're using today doesn't have a mirror. So that'll be fun. What the hell are you guys doing? Go on my nose. Is it snowing anywhere else? Hold on. Okay. Eye primer is on. So the first color that we're going to go in with is Uptown, which is the first color on the second row. And the brush I'm going to be using is an E126 from Shop Miss A. And I'm just going to use my phone as a mirror. I don't feel like doing and put this in my crease. If that person does not quit ringing my goddamn doorbell, I'm gonna choke them. I told you the first five freaking times you rung the dang thing. Put this. In the door or in the crease and then I'm gonna take another U126 and go into the shade Muse which is the fourth color on the first row right here and we're also gonna put this in the crease that first color we just kind of used it as a trend, I need a mirror. I'm sorry, you guys. As a transition shade. We'll fix it later, don't worry. Okay. 
first set and then the color I'm going to go in with next is the um, Noir shade which is right next to me is it's the fifth shade on the top row right here it looks kind of blue to me but it could also be black i am colorblind or slightly colorblind and i'm gonna put this right on the outer corner and this one's a color pop B4 brush. Mm-hmm. I'm not done yet. Oh. This is done yet inside of. Did any of you hear me ask for an 11-year-old's opinion? I don't think I did. I said it's not done yet, which means I haven't fixed it yet. Plus, my eyes are two very different shapes. I'm well aware of the fact that it's not even. And I'm going to take a, like, slightly more fluffy brush. It's still, like, a packing brush, but it's, like, tapered, and then it's fluffy. And I'm going to go into Noir again. And just kind of blend that color into the cheek and book it out. Lately. Okay. And then for the lid color, I wanted this to be more cool toned, so I did go in with the shade Downtown, which is the first color on the third row right here. And I just use my finger for these types of shades. I think it works better that way. It's really weird. I'm going to turn it over just... And I'm just going to put this on my lid and kind of just drag it out like that. And then I'm going to take the shade Cosmo, which is the second color on the okay downtown is the sixth color on the third row and then cosmo is the second color on the third row and i'm going to put that on my finger as well and i'm just going to pat this color kind of in between where downtown and noir are just to like lighten it up a little bit And then I'm going to take my makeup wipe that I have right here, and I'm going to clean out any fallout that I have. So there is some by my nose. And I'm also going to, like, stick some right there.
there's the sign where it's required. Oh. Sorry. Okay. So that's the eyes for the most part. I'm going to speed up the rest of this um, to do the rest of the tutorial and then we'll be all set.
that is the rest of this look. Um, for I I did do my eyelashes and mascara and stuff off camera just because it makes me very nervous. But my lip is from my project fan. It's '90s icon. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I would very much greatly appreciate it. I don't know how people wear lashes all the time because it's so difficult to put on. But I achieved something today. They are more firmly placed on there than what they normally are. And I'm so pleased with myself. They're not really actually attached in the back, but you know what I mean. They're good to go for the most part. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I would very much greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!